And if you are married in the room today, uh, just my encouragement maybe to lean in a little bit closer because a lot of this will apply to you as well. There is something in us that believes that if we could just find the one person, like on the planet, that life would be perfect. And I think that part of the reason we believe that is that God put a desire in us for something like that. He put a desire in us that goes beyond the friends you hang with or the people that, that you socialize with. There's a de desire in you and the desire in me that we have some kind of intimacy that requires what we might call a personal soulmate. That's the signature of God on your spirit and on your heart. Many of you may not know, but it is speculated that Dennis and Kristen first met many years ago in the same kindergarten class at Roosevelt Elementary School in Racine. Given these circumstances and their first encounters together at Julian Thomas, they found the following reading fitting. I hope you can take all of these important lessons to heart as you begin your marriage and life together. It's a poem titled, All I Ever Really Needed to Know, I Learned in Kindergarten. I looked at him and I said, Dennis, I'll give you my answer. But first I have a couple questions of my own. Dennis, tell me what it is that you love about my daughter. I'll say just this, that Dennis's response to me was just what any father would want to hear coming from the man who would become his daughter's husband. God loved you so much that he gave his only son for you. That's the signature of God on your life. So every single time that you're patient with the other, when the other irritates you or lets you down, that is evidence of the signature of God on your life. Every time that you're kind when to the other, when something is said that isn't kind because you're exhausted, that's evidence of the signature of God on your life. Every time you're unselfish. Then, happy wedding day. I cannot believe this day is already here. I have dreamt about this day all my life. Finding you has been the biggest blessing in my entire life. I promise to be your biggest supporter and the man of the house as we start this journey. All of what I really need to know about how to live and what to do and how to be, I learned in kindergarten. Wisdom was not at the top of the graduate school mountain, but there in the sandbox at nursery school. These are the things I learned. Share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. Put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. Don't take things that aren't yours. Say sorry when you hurt somebody. Wash your hands before you eat. Flush. We realize that God, in his goodness, provided us with the perfect resource and tool to guide us through life from the very beginning. A big sister. Kristen. <laughs> By assigning you the role of big sister, he knew that Caitlin and I would benefit not only from your extensive inventory of clothes and accessories, <laughs> but also your calm voice of reason, your constant encouragement, and your leadership. We are forever grateful for the role you play in our lives and are excited for you as you move into your new role as wife. Dennis, that night you demonstrated the respect, the honor, the class of a true gentleman. You made it easy for me to answer yes. And I will always remember that evening and our conversation. When it comes to another one of life's big questions, who am I going to spend the rest of my life with? We're glad your answer is Dennis. When it comes to Dennis, I think it's only fair to point out that I saw him first. Remember the little seed in the plastic cup? The roots go down and the plant goes up, and nobody really knows how or why, but we all are like that. Everything you need to know is in there somewhere. And it still is true. No matter how old you are, when you go out into the world, it is best to hold hands and stick together. Kristen and Dennis, they're made for each other. Their souls kind of align. The only advice I can give you is just Make your marriage an adventure. Always keep it fresh and try new things and you only live once. When it comes to fights or disagreements of any kind between you and Kristen, Kristen will always win. I remember your most special friend. It was a stuffed Mickey Mouse. And at first you struggled to pronounce his name correctly, so you just called him Mimi Guy. And you loved him to pieces. 
literally. As a special guest tonight, I'd like to introduce Mimi Guy to everyone here. And if you had a close look at him, uh, under his arms are ripped and torn where Lori had to sew him together many times over. You know my daughter loves you. And if my daughter loves you half as much as she loved Mimi Guy, just imagine what you're gonna look like in just a few years. Raise your glasses and congratulate Dennis and Kristen on this wonderful day and their marriage. Star.